so I'm gonna show you today um uh, a better Gita machine integration with Dagger. So there's there's a few parts of this demo. The the first one is gonna be a module <clears throat> that's um used to basically create comments on on Gita pull requests. So uh, here I have a, an issue works the same as a PR uh, on my repo number one and basically. I'm gonna call my GitHub comment module and pass it a token. And then like, I wanna uh, comment on this repo. So it was already Daggerverse, issue one, create body, hello world. Uh, once I do that, I should see my comment appearing here. Uh, the neat part <clears throat> is that this is re-entrance. So uh, if I change this to full bar, it's not gonna comment again, but instead it's gonna update in place to comment here. Um, I can do other stuff like uh, instead of create, I can react uh, by part, for instance, and yep, and it comments. So <clears throat> it does some weird tricks where like it's adding basically a marker in the comments so you can find it again, but it scans all the comments um, and again, the, the marker is can be customized so you can have like multiple comments that that your data was in time and finally um i'm gonna do like a delete so useful like you know in a typical ci scenario you would add a comment saying like i'm about to deploy this and then i finally deploy that so it will update and finally when like for instance the pr is closed you just hit delete hit refresh the comment is gone so <clears throat> now that the module works, the next step is like how to integrate this with CI. And um, so there, there, I did like a few different um, stages. So the first stage um, is gonna be like creating like a, a GitHub YAML. So on pull request, there's like standard boilerplate. And then, um, I'm using the dagger for GitHub action here and passing the, the token and basically say, okay, call my module CI. And the interesting bit here is instead, like I created this module and basically I'm just passing um, the raw event inside. Uh, basically uh, GitHub gives you um, an event file, which has the same shape as a GitHub webhook. Um, if I show you the code here that's handling this, you can see that um, basically um, I'm I'm just <clears throat> um, I'm calling the handle function you can see here, and in handle I'm basically parsing the webhook, and inside I can just deal with. Um, the kind of event directly in code. So like if it's a pull request and then I can check like whether it's uh, uh what's the action, like uh, is it open, synchronize, reopen, blah, blah. Here I can use the module I just showed before, like create uh, a GitHub comment and create a message and then like just create the comment and then react. The, the neat part really is that instead of, you know, dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with weird uh, argument passing, like I can simply like use code directly. So like, you know, create a comment, I'm gonna grab the repo here, the owner and the login, and then I want the repo name. And then I'm gonna find the PR I want to comment in just by passing the commit. And so I can get that information directly in code. This is a PI I didn't create. This is like the regular, like uh, go GitHub uh, standard API. But I'm just using this trick where like I can basically uh, call my CI handler here. And then I'm basically passing just three things like the token, which is needed for authentication, and then the event name and the event file, which is from the Webhooks uh, API. So let's try this uh, live here. If I create like a hello world, and then commit changes, gonna create like a new PR, create pull request. Okay. So this should kick off, yeah, my uh, job here. 
it's going to take a minute to run, a minute or so. Uh, in the meantime, let me open this in parallel. But <clears throat> basically, uh, this gets triggered, like uh, CI flow here. The webhook gets passed to the code. And then like from, from the code here, I'm just OK. Uh, I got woken up. What's happening? Is it a pre-request? And then let's just create a comment. OK. And so you can see like the action like just you know, saying hello, and then thanks for opening up PR, et cetera, et cetera. The, um, I forgot to show like the, was it here? No. Yeah, I guess like without, you know, without this, like the alternative is to <clears throat> kind of, you know, pass all these arguments from the YAML, but then you need to do like a bunch of, um, like interpolation, like, you know, comment, and then you would need to do like uh, repo and then use some weird like GitHub repo repository, maybe like, you know, the standard like YAML hell with no auto completion uh, whatsoever. The, okay, so this works great, but like <clears throat> we can, we can go even further, like with using the same pattern. So uh, I still have like this part is still YAML and still hard coded. What we can do uh, going further is like I have another workflow called Event CI where it's basically the same as here. Like uh, this part is exactly the same, but for the first one for the trigger, I'm basically saying on, and then absolutely everything. So here is a GitHub workflow on whatever happens on GitHub. Just call my code and pass it the event, and. The idea behind this is that this would be the last YAML you'll ever write. And it's actually the same across any, any repo. Like you just drop this in and you say, okay, here's my Dagger CI. Whatever happens on GitHub, where there like there's a comment or a milestone, a project, a pull request, a review, anything really, just call my module and pass it the token so I can handle that in code. So I actually have this deployed and before, since it's going to take a while, like, let me play with this module. I'll show you the code uh, in a bit, but like what I can do, like if I do echo, hello world, oh, well, let's try a different message. So I have this module, basically, I create a different one that's handling like uh, comments and here the advanced CI one. So same code as the one I showed before, like it's basically, this is a little boilerplate like here, like basically parse the event. And then uh, instead of handling pull request, it's dealing with issue comment events. And I'm like, okay, if I get called and there's an issue comment, if it was created and then it's doing some parsing and we're gonna see the result in a second, but it's still using the GitHub comment module I showed before and it's slow. I'm not using like magic cache, so that's that's a me. I should enable it, but it takes takes a little minute to just build. Um, okay, and so here, like the, my bot here commented, so you can see like uh, when there's a issue comment event, if the action was created, then I do some weird parsing to figure out like the this little command, and if it's echo, do this, and then there's another. Thing I added since this is dagger, like I can just use the full API. So let's try sh apk at curl and uh, echo my IP address is curl this. Okay. So I'm going to comment with this. And here I have the rest of the code. Like when it's echo, I'm just creating like a comment and just passing the args. However, if it's SH, I'm just using Dagger API and just say, okay, create a container for a pine and exact the thing, grab the STD out, create a comment with the response. So again, it's gonna take a little minute, but yeah, that's that's implementation. The, the really neat thing, like here it could go on and on and just have a handle function uh, that basically handles all the events. So like, if there's an issue, do this. Or typically, like if there's a pull request or a push to main, run my test, the linter, and so on and so forth. Maybe if someone adds a label, like, oh, here it is, the my ST out. 
I can do stuff like if someone adds a label like integration, like run the full end-to-end -end test, like the slow test, or if someone adds the preview label, then deploy a preview environment. Um, I guess like a, a good way to integrate this would be to create like in your in your repository, you would create like a CI module that contains functions such as you know test, lint, build, and whatever, and you would use those locally to develop. So you can do like dagger call test, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, in addition, for CI integration, you could create like a new function called like handle or whatever that handle the, the CI events. And basically, it's a dispatcher, like GitHub events come in and then you call like one of the internal functions. Ideally, you could see this being expanded beyond GitHub, such as like handling Discord or Slack events. Like if someone in chat says like deploy, then just deploy. Um, but it's it's really neat to to be able to handle this in code. Like you can do cool stuff that's just not possible, like in the regular YAML file. Like you could say, I don't know, like connect a database, and if it's an external contributor you've never seen, run the test twice because just why not? Uh, just code, and yeah, that's it. The the I didn't publish the module yet on Daggerverse, but it's uh, I still need to clean up the the API. But like everything is on this repo, Daggerverse repo. Here's the GitHub comment. Um, that's just the, the module I showed at the beginning to, to create comments. And uh, and basically here you're gonna have like the two workflows I just show, like that's the simple one. And then bot, that's the advanced one that grabs like on uh, all the events. And the CI code is gonna be um, here on main. And that's it. And I cannot stop sharing this. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Great. Well, that's that's an awesome demo, actually. Uh, and and I have to say, I feel really privileged to have witnessed the, the last uh, piece of YAML you will ever write, Andrea. So that was a good. Yeah, good yeah, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. No, I see that. Yeah. And um, I. So there is one. I, I'm just looking at the chat right now to see if there are any questions. Daggerverse init module, do you have to always write them in Golang? So Solomon answered, no, actually modules can uh, be written in, in Python um, and TypeScript. Uh, and actually more, more languages are coming uh, with module support. Um, yeah, and, and I have a question for you, Andre. You kind of answered that already, but I was going to ask, because that 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 thing is awesome. I, I'd like to, to use it on all of my projects to just uh, just just the best the, the best possible interface to instrument your CI and run your tests is just to to talk to GitHub directly and so so your your bot handles handles everything. Uh, do, do you um, how can we reuse the demo? Uh, so you said you would you would publish the module in Daggerverse, but will it be enough to just take the module and and go? Or I guess some yeah, some so, uh, so some the instructions. Yeah, in the yeah, I should answer instruction. Basically, in the repo, there's only one module, which is the GitHub comment one, uh, which is not required for the GitHub integration. It just it just comments. The other ones are more examples. Like Dagger already supports all of that, uh, and I'm just providing an example. So, uh, the way it works is that <clears throat> GitHub um, GitHub Actions provides you a file with the raw event, and Dagger called the CLI. Um, if your module takes a file like a dagger file type, if you pass the path as argument, dagger will load that to you as a dagger file. And so you can just do dot contents and grab the contents. So it's already supported. Uh, all I'm providing is an example of the integration. Um, you just need to right now, dagger doesn't parse the events for you. And that's what my example is doing. It's basically for like one line of code to you know, grab the contents of the file and then one line of code to parse uh, the, the file, plus two lines to check the errors, but that that's it. So I'm just providing the example. Uh, nice. That's cool. Well, I love it. Um, we'll, we'll leave it a few more minutes if anyone has questions. I don't see other questions. Well, I guess, I guess we're done. Uh, Thanks, thanks a lot for three awesome demos today. And feel free to follow up on the chat, actually, uh, even after you watch the recording or, or if you join late, uh, feel free to ask questions anytime. Uh, you can find us easily on, on the Discord uh, server. 
And feel free to ping us actually independently if you want to ping Andrea or Helder or even Mark if you have questions on, on those particular demos, uh, we'll answer them. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.